Hi. Welcome back to Campbell Fan Farm. Yeah, this is Sabrina and Stefan. And Stefan's going to show the pumpkins and the watermelon. Okay, you want to show them? Yeah, this is the watermelon right here. It's big. But come over here and you'll need a bigger one. Right here is the second one. So there was, after that one, that was first, and there was second, and then that was third. But the, then there was another one that was the first one. Wow. And this is the area where we landscaped with the wheelbarrow. And as I expected, the watermelons took over everywhere. Actually, they're coming over, but they're producing. But with watermelons and pumpkins, we have problems with squash bugs. So we're going to go to the main vegetable garden and show you how we're going to deal with it. And All right. So here we're in the pumpkin area. This is humongous. These seeds were ones that I did not plant, but basically were in the compost. And also we had the ones that we shared in a bucket and I um, passed them out to everybody. <laughs> so this is taken over the whole garden. It's even on the fence, which I'll show you in a minute. But what I have done is this is diatomaceous earth and I said that wrong probably it's an obnoxious long awkward word so everybody calls it DE basically what it is it's from the bottom of the oceans it's a old algae and um, fossilized um, basically shells so they crush them up it's not toxic to us it's not toxic to anything but what it does, it's like glass to any insect that has a hard shell. It only works on the hard shell, so your bees are fine. So when they climb through it, it irritates them so much that they'll shed their shell. Then they'll dry up instantly in the sun, like a vampire. <laughs> or else um, insects could eat it easier. So the only bad problem I see with this is it doesn't get the eggs, which I'm going to show you, but as they hatch, they'll have to go through. And second of all, it does get the ladybugs. We don't have a lot of ladybugs until the fall here, so we're okay right now, and I just want to get them. But um, let me show you the eggs. You have to check. I usually spray them, so we're just now getting them because the spray is um, basically wearing off. So what you want to do is you want to pick these pretty much. You just want to pick these off and scrunch them or throw them in the water. So when you scrunch them, they're done with. And then a lot of people... Sorry. Then the other bugs eat it. So to use this, basically, you just scatter it. Now, I don't have a duster, but that bug over there, you're just going to spray it, get this all over your face. I went in before the video, and I'm like covered. I'm like, ah! <laughs> so it works semi-quickly, but you're not going to see the results for a week, probably. I know. Hold on, honey. Now, this one is from Safer, but basically it'll also tell you you could use it inside. People with bed, bed bugs or um, ticks or anything else. So in the yard, it's great because they have kind of like a hard shell, so it scratches them. So they won't lose their shell, but Okay, so that's basically it. Now, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to mix some with water, 50-50, and I'm going to put in a spray bottle, and I'm going to coat under the leaves. And I've also put it on the ground. Remember, squash bugs like to go down to the cooler area, so I have already actually put that there. So... Now, Stefan's turn. He's going to come in and show some of our pumpkins that we didn't seed purposely. You're actually a lady. You'll 
It points in right here you can use. It's right here. Under here you need a bit the point in right here. And that, there's some more of them? The jump, the one over here, come here. You come over here, the mic. So here the a pumpkin, you right here. So this is that um a green pumpkin, you are not ready yet. And if you come over here, the over there you might you be a bigger pumpkin. Here. Stephen, do you want to cut those here? So here are all her plants are planted. So if you go under here, the flower, but if you come over here, the pumpkin. I really got a dummy go. I'm a, come here. The right here you can might get. And if you look there. There's more in there. Right down there. Get me. And then you can see it right about, come, it's it right down there, but it look right here. Okay. So I also wanted to tell you, show them some of the pretty flowers. They're closing up for the night right now. I'm here. But the flowers, for those of you that saw my video on the stuffed um, flowers that I did, any of the squash, pumpkin, any of it, you could use. It's actually a bigger flower, and it is amazing to stuff. It's just bigger, so a lot of times you just wrap it, tie it with a string, and you could actually boil it too, steam it really. But anyway, anything else? Don't. Oh man! And you'll hear the play. <laughs> don't spray. No, don't spray. Don't spray. Don't spray. So here, the, so we need to build it up and did this. This is something else. We had a little fungus going on because it got so big and there wasn't enough air area for air. So if you did 50% peroxide, you, the regular peroxide that you would use inside, 50% water and you spray underneath, it'll kill. It's a bacteria bacteria viruses it's perfect so I just did this is Sabrina and Stefan oh and Taylor from Campbell's Freedom Farm yeah and have a great day please and, subscribe and, like, and, up, and share and hit the bell button 300 bell button and, and tell your and, friends and tell everyone <laughs> everyone in the whole wide world